Is the teacher being allowed contact with students currently? I'm not going to talk about a specific person. Shouldn't parents have a right to know whether or not their students are being exposed to this teacher? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. Dot com. give more credit where credit is due though the the board has gotten this far without making any threats to me or putting their hand over the camera or ordering me to stop filming it's a start I've also witnessed some stamina on their part they've already been meeting for three and a half hours uh, if you add up all three meetings today uh, and with I think zero absences I think they were all here today all the board and the top two administrators on the downside, they apparently had two, maybe three, meetings that were closed to the public today. I don't think I have any video of you yet. No, no. <laughs> have fun. With regard to the Keen Sentinel's report on this alleged assault, um, I have to admit, it was actually a pretty well-written report. It was, looked like pretty good reporting, unless there was a factual error that I'm not aware of. However, uh, the, my concern was that the, uh, the story was buried on the region page uh, instead of going on the front page of the Sentinel. I mean, you would think as little news as they actually report, they would have been kind of excited to have a piece of real news. Uh, to put on their front page, real local news, but the front page was, you know, was mostly looked like a bunch of national stuff and a, uh, a couple minor local things. Okay, more credit where credit is due. The powers that be, now that it's after hours, are apparently letting the temperature rise. Uh, it seems like the air conditioning is not on. I guess that will save some taxpayer dollars. You see the HR guy? I am. You're the unlucky guy in that case. The superintendent, I believe, has designated you to be the person to answer my question. He did? Yeah, I'd like to know what the exact punishment is for this person, who this a teacher who was alleged to have assaulted a student. I can't talk about any specific personnel discipline or action. Why not? I'm forbidden to do that. By law? Because it's protected, yeah. Shouldn't taxpayers be able to know? No. Nope. Why not? There's certain information that's protected. Personnel information is protected. That's why we go into non-public when we talk about personnel. And uh, that information is not public information. So should we be able to just stop paying our taxes since we're not getting any information about how they're being used? I can't tell you whether you should pay your taxes or not. But if, uh, my guess is that uh, you, you'll be motivated to pay your taxes if you're trying to stop. Was there any video acquired of the incident? Of which incident? Like with your security cameras, did they capture any video? Of what incident? The alleged assault, the pulling of the hood or whatever? Not to my knowledge. Do you have securities in the library there? Not to my knowledge. I don't think we videotape uh, student areas. Are students allowed to videotape things like that that happen? I don't know what the policy is at the elementary level with cell phones, but usually they're managed. But I, I wouldn't know. You'd have to talk to the building principal. To be clear, is this an actual law that's forbidding you from giving me information, or is it more of a policy? Oh, no, it's not policy. It's protected. It's protected information. By an RSA? Uh, I can't quote the RSA, but uh, by RSA, CBA, uh, there, there's some labor rules. I'd have to go and research those. But okay. Yeah, we, we, we won't discuss specific personnel, just like we wouldn't discuss specific student information. So I won't, you know, I wouldn't get into the details of a student case or, or a staff case. Is the teacher being allowed contact with students currently? I'm not going to talk about the specific. Person. Shouldn't parents have a right to know whether or not their students are being exposed to this teacher? I'm not going to talk about that specific teacher. 
Secrecy, secrecy, secrecy. No it's, secrecy. It's very graceful yeah. obfuscation, but have you ever considered working for the NSA or something? I might. I might be working for the NSA. <laughs> oh, well, uh, they, they do seem well. They're, they're monitoring your phone either way. That's right. <laughs> right? That's right. <laughs> okay, well, I do close. appreciate at least talking to me, even if you're not telling me anything. You know, some people just walk off. So. All right. Well, I'm enjoy. Dave Ridley, by the way. It's RidleyReport.com, nice Four Man TV Station. See you on YouTube. Best of luck. All right. Thanks Thank so much. You. Take care. Chuck? Porcupine Christians. Even if you don't want to get arrested with them, you might want to hang out with them. Although they don't get that much attention, perfectly normal Christian families are an important part of the Free Stater movement, and pork fest specifically. You'll find a cluster of them at campsites two and four. Drop by if you like. Pork fest is just as accepting of religion as it is of libertines. To learn more, visit Jesus is the way, the truth, the life dot com.